Sizzling heat wave we saw here in the Bay Area last month did more than just make uh, us uncomfortable. KPI X5's Wilson Walker reports it killed off entire mussel beds along the coast, roasting the sea creatures in their own shells. Well, it was the second week of June when we were all sweating out that heat wave. Maybe you're like me, you don't have air conditioning, but turns out the heat was particularly brutal for a whole lot of residents here along the Northern California coast. We've seen um, smaller mussel die offs in the past. I've been working here for about 15 years, um, but nothing of this extent. At the heat wave's peak, the temperature here was about 77 degrees, warm for Bodega Bay, but downright hot for the mussels left to bake in the sun for hours when the tide went out. Interestingly, uh, the mussels experience much higher temperatures uh, because they're close to the rock and they're dark shelled. And so the mussels were experiencing temperatures that were probably around 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Maybe not hot enough to consider them ready to serve, but certainly hot enough to kill them in large numbers. They burst open much like they would in a pot, and that is bad news for all sorts of species out here. Uh, there are lots of animals that use the mussel bed for habitat. So when the mussels are impacted, you um, affect all those other species in the area. Jackie Sonis is the research director at the UC Davis Bodega Marine Lab. The die off happened right in their backyard. She says these mussels could very well be telling us one more part of a larger story. Um, you know, climate scientists believe that um, extreme heat events uh, will become more likely. Unfortunately, we are getting to the point where, you know, we could be experiencing air temperatures that cause that to happen more frequently. Now, the laboratory has reached out along the coast to see if this has happened anywhere else, and they've already gotten confirmed reports from Point Reyes to north of Fort Bragg. And considering the extent of that weather, the die-off may have been even larger than that. In Bodega Bay, Wilson Walker, KPIX 5.